Hello, my name is Rian Blom with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about installing the Avaya Appliance Virtualization Platform Release 7.0, also referred to as AVP. The first item you will need to check is to ensure that you obtain the correct hardware to install the Avaya Virtualization Platform or AVP on. You should be able to find guidance in either the installation guide or release notes for the release of the product that is compatible with AVP. In this example I have provided a list of servers that are compatible with Application Enablement Services or AES. I will be using the Hewlett Packard ProLiant DL360 G8 server to perform this installation. Next you will need to download the required software from Avaya PLDS. Once you have logged into the PLDS site Search the download section for Appliance Virtualization Platform version 7 software. The results should contain links to download the Avaya Virtualization Platform, a recovery CD which can be used if you need to roll back to System Platform, and the Kickstart Generator file which helps you to create the Kickstart file for installing AVP. You may also need to download the Solution Deployment Manager software. Solution Deployment Manager is a centralized software management solution that enables deployments, upgrades, migrations and updates to the suite of Avaya Aura 7 applications installed on AVP. STM is either available as a standalone installation package or it can be accessed through the latest release of System Manager 7. You will need access to either a standalone SDM or System Manager 7 if you want to deploy any applications on AVP. Next let's take a look at configuring and generating the kickstart file. Once you have downloaded the file from Avaya PLDS you can open it with Microsoft Excel. You need to configure all the required fields marked with an asterisk. Note that the password field will disappear once you've entered your password which is done for additional security. Don't worry it will remain part of the kickstart file but just won't be visible from Excel. Take some time to read through the additional installation notes provided at the bottom of the kickstart file generator. As you can see there it takes roughly 30 minutes to complete the installation of AVP. Let's look at a brief example of generating the kickstart file. As I mentioned earlier you should be able to download the kickstart file from Avaya PLDS. Once you have opened the file, populate all the required fields marked with an asterisk. On the password field you will be able to see the password as you type it, but once you move to another line the password will disappear. Once you have completed all the required fields, click on Generate AVP Installation Configuration File. Save the file to a FAT32 formatted USB flash drive. Now that you have the correct hardware and software and you have completed the configuration of the kickstart file, you are ready to proceed with the installation. Insert the USB flash drive and DVD containing the AVP image into the server. Then power on the server. You can insert the USB flash drive into any available USB slot on the front or the back of the server. The images shown here are examples from a Dell R620. You are not required to connect a monitor and keyboard to the server for this installation. Since you have put all the configuration on the kickstart file, the installation will proceed on its own. If you are interested in monitoring the progress of the installation, there is no harm in connecting a monitor. The next 5 minutes or so of this recording will show you a shortened version of the installation process. Please note that there is no user input required beyond this point. 
Everything you see happen on the monitor or screen is driven by the AVP installation using the kickstart file. When you see this Avaya AVP boot menu, just leave the selection as default and let the automatic boot proceed. During the roughly 30 minutes it takes for the installation to complete, the server will reboot a couple of times. You should also expect to see the CD drive eject after about 15 minutes.
Once the monitor displays the hostname and IP address links, then you can proceed with the next step, adding this appliance virtualization platform to a Solution Deployment Manager, or SDM. If you decided not to connect a monitor during the installation, you should wait between 25 to 30 minutes for the installation to complete, and then ping the AVP server's IP address or SSH to the server to ensure that it's up. This concludes the presentation of installing a VIA appliance virtualization platform on an Avaya common server. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at .com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.